Now we're going to go through the two scenarios that we just talked about uh, using this whiteboard, which I actually think is easier to see because uh, when you're looking at a jumble of wires on the camera, they just look like spaghetti and it's hard to tell what wire is going where. And let's say that this is our old fan motor, that's the fan blade on it. And it says old on it. And let's start with our first scenario that we talked about and we have a dual capacitor. Let's see how good I can draw this. And it has three terminals on it. And one is marked F or fan. And one is marked H or H-E-R-M for hermetic. And one is marked C or C-O-M-M for common. Okay, we have our three terminals. Now you'll have a wire coming off the hermetic terminal. And let's say we had a super booster on there also. And the super booster came and one wire went to hermetic and one wire went to common. And then we have some wires feeding into common also. Let's say we have a couple of them. So we got three wires on that common terminal right now. And then we have our wires coming off our old fan motor. We have three wires coming off it. You'll have one wire coming off and it goes to the terminal mark F or fan. You'll have one wire coming off and it goes to the terminal mark C or common. And then you'll have one wire that comes off and it goes off somewhere else. Uh, maybe to a circuit board, maybe to a contactor. Terminal block, doesn't matter where that wire goes. We're only concerned with one wire. And that's the terminal. That's the wire that is on the terminal marked F or fan. So all we're going to do is we're going to unplug this wire right here. And we're going to leave this terminal right here empty. And we're not ever going to worry about it again. And then we have our new motor. And it has a little capacitor and two brown wires, one on each terminal. It doesn't matter which way they go. And we'll just say our new capacitor is right here. It has two terminals on it. So one of our brown wires comes and goes on one terminal. One of our brown wires comes and goes on the other terminal. And then we have our two power wires and we've got to figure out where they go. Well, these two wires simply go where these two wires used to go. So we'll route one wire over here and we'll follow this wire back to wherever it plugs into and we'll unplug it and we'll plug in that wire. And then we have this wire here, we'll unplug it from the terminal mark common or C and we'll just plug in our fan motor right there. And now we have power to our new fan motor and we're done. Now remember that second scenario we talked about where the old motor had its own capacitor and that's the fan blade and here's our old motor it says old on it and it has its own little capacitor like similar to this one and let's say that it's right there and it has two terminals on it and power supplies one side of it. Now on our old motor we have three wires coming off one wire goes to one side of this capacitor one wire goes to the other side of this capacitor and one wire comes and goes off this way, it goes to a circuit board, it goes to the contactor, it goes to a terminal block, wherever it happens to go, it really doesn't make any difference. On this little capacitor, there's two wires from our fan motor, okay? And we have to determine which one of these two is our capacitor wires, capacitor wire so we can eliminate it. And it's very simple because the capacitor wire sits on the terminal all by itself. There's one wire on this terminal and there are two wires on this terminal. So this is our capacitor wire because it's by itself. So we're going to just eliminate that wire. Okay, and this is our power wire. And that's our power wire. So when we put in our new motor and we have our fan blade and then we have a little capacitor like this and then one brown wire goes to one side and one brown wire goes to the other side and then we have a, a two power wires coming off this a black and a, a white one in this case and we would just take one of our power wires, doesn't matter whether it's the black wire or the white wire and we would simply follow this wire back to wherever it goes and we would unplug that wire and we'd plug in our new power wire okay now here we're going to eliminate our old fan motor so we, we might as well eliminate our old capacitor 
and we'll get that out of the circuit. You know, we'll take it out and throw it away because we don't want it uh, in our control box if it's not being used. So when we route our other power wire here, what we'll do, of course, this wire is also going to be eliminated because it's going into the trash can with our old motor. And since we're going to eliminate this capacitor, what we'll do is we'll take this wire off and we'll get our new power wire from our new motor. Oh, I forgot to write new on here. And we'll follow this wire back to wherever it plugged into and we'll plug in our new motor to wherever that wire plugged in. And then we have our four wires hooked up and our new, and our new motor is ready to go.